The book I chose is called Mix, a colorful story by Ari Chung. I looked that up and that's the pronunciation that came up, so that's what I used. He is the author and illustrator of this book and he has many other books that are also very good that I've looked into. Um, he does a really good job. He does all the writing and drawing for most of his books. So I find his work very good. Um, and I'll follow up with the questions afterwards. So to start the story, in the beginning, there were three colors, reds, yellows, and blues. Reds were the loudest. Yellow were the brightest. And blues were the, were the coolest. Everyone lived in color harmony until, let's see, here they are, living all together happily. One afternoon, a red shout, reds are the best. Ooh, look how everybody's so shocked. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. Here we got the yellows, and then the reds and the blues. Oh no. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. Oh, they got in a fight. So we got Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue and something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you. I feel calm when I'm with you. Oh, so they like spending time together. Yellow and blue came, yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colors were happy about it. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. Colors shouldn't mix. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. I don't know. Some strong opinions. But they're happy. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to mix. They got married. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow, calm like blue, but she really was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She is so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Can I hold her? Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Oh, so everybody just loved her. The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon other colors mixed. And mixed. Oh, so we got red and yellow. We got blue and red. Making new colors. And mixed. And mixed. But all new colors. There's so many new colors and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. Oh, so they're telling all their little kids about their names and telling them not to forget things and to be careful. The old neighborhood of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. Oh, they're taking down all those signs. The new city was full of color, and it wasn't perfect, but it was home. So now they built back up the new city with all different colors. The end. So I really like this book because I think it teaches the topic of being inclusive and opening and just 
um, a good citizen to others in such a way that kids understand and are able to take in very easily. Um, I found a kindergarten standard and a first grade standard, but this book is recommended from K to third, so I think you could use it at any grade level as a read aloud, and then you could um, leave it open for discussion with the students, or you could have them do a writing prompt and like to work it into other areas as well. But the standards that I found that fit very well with it were the kin kindergarten standard number eight. Um, yeah, under its human system, it's number eight, and individuals are unique but share common characteristics of multiple groups. And the first grade standard under under citizens' participation in skills. Number nine, collaboration requires group members to respect the rights and opinions of others. So they obviously had to work together um, to like build the city and stuff, but then they kind of separated. So they kind of lost touch with one another. If you saw like on the one page, when the cities were separated, they had people at like the fences, like looking at one another, like kind of missing one another. So they have to work together to like be a good town and like to have everything because the towns weren't the same when they were separated. And at the end, they had that bakery, they had all the different things. Um, and then just the individuals are unique, but share common characteristics. So even though the colors don't like necessarily get along all, ever, all of them, they all have unique characteristics. But they all have common things as well so they can all get along because they all have the same mindset they all have the same end goal and like goals in life to live and stuff because like in the book they're people basically so they all have like the same mindset and they can get along and that's what they come to find out in the book is that they can live in harmony together as colors um i really thought the book was adorable i really when i saw it in the store i had to pick it up i thought it was a great book and an easy way to teach the topic as well um i think students would also really like it and it would be easy for them to follow along and be cute also tie in art really easily which i thought was also like a bonus um i really like how you could talk about like many of the hard things such as in the u.s our country looks so diverse in many different ways with religion with genders with um, race with culture with everything we're just a such um we're such a mixed um like we're such a mixed community of people that like this fits us perfectly that we are welcoming and inviting of all that we're inclusive it's such an easy way to start the conversation with people and it even points out like some of the things that they say in there like i don't think they're bright enough like people hear comments like that all the time and I think it's just like a good way to say like, yeah, there's going to be some negativity, but it doesn't stop people from like um, living their life. So like on this page, it said like, I don't like yellow's effect on blue, color shouldn't mix, like it touches on some like pretty in-depth topics that I think would be a really easy way to bring it up to students in a way that like they would understand. And I just thought the book was adorable and I think it's a great way, especially for like the younger kids. Um, it's a hard topic to talk about sometimes. It's a little touchy. So I think it's a great way to cover the topics as well as hitting a standard, doing it in a fun way and incorporating many different things along the way. Um, like I said, I would use this at the beginning of the conversation and then I'd open it up to talking more in depth and then talking about how um they're talking about colors in the book but how could this relate to real life so when, when could we see this happening like um in the world today so like i said you could talk about it in gender talk about it in race culture um anything and you can talk about how the u.s is made up of all different and we're like a mixed country because we have many different people here and but we all share a common goal and we should be welcoming and we can all live in harmony and it might not be perfect, but it's going to be our home and just teach them some good citizenship skills along the way. And I really like the book and I would recommend people using it in their classroom, even if 
uh, it would be hard to incorporate. I think you could incorporate it in like a reading standard, like a writing prompt maybe. But I think you could definitely tie it into history very well, especially within the K to 3 standards.